Hello folks, welcome. Filming in 1920 by 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly. So for your fans of LMDE6 Cinnamon Desktop, I'm going to talk about locking down your desklets. Um, I had a subscriber ask me, why can't I move my desklet? Now desklets are found on the Cinnamon Desktop, not XFCE or Mate. Uh, they're just little toys you can toss on there. This one here I can't move. I'm clicking on it. And um, I think the user activated that and couldn't move it because I, somehow inadvertently you must have turned on the lock symbol. Now there is a way you can lock down your desklets in a position that you like. I will talk about that. I'll also talk uh, just generally about desklets for the ones that have never used desklets. And then I'll touch a little bit about transparent panels or semi-transparent panels. So again, welcome folks, filming in 1080. Adjust your YouTube player. Subscription key in the corner, 400 plus videos. All right. We can um, go to system settings and look for desklets. You normally find that next to the time and date thing. Or you can just generally right click on your desktop and add desklets. So desklets are just toys and uh, three of them here cannot be removed. They have lock symbols on them. But this one I can remove. So I'm going to delete it actually and start from scratch. So you have a very simple one. I can just hit the plus key and I might deactivate that. So in here we have lots of desklets. They're just toys. Some people don't like them. That's okay. You don't have to use them. I'm just pointing out desklets today whether you use them or not. But since a user or subscriber asked me a question about it, that's the reason I'm doing the video. So I'm per particularly fond of this one. This also works in Linux Mint 22, 21.3, and so forth. Desklets, again, are cinnamon desktop thing. So this is by this person here. This is the developer. So I'm gonna hit the download or install button. Okay, you can see that it's installing. As soon as I get a connection, providing you're online, everything's working, you get a check mark. That means it's installed, but not active. To activate a desklet requires you to turn it on. Once you turn it on, the, the gearbox becomes active. If I turn it back on, I cannot click the gearbox. So just a couple of little tips there. Now it's very small right now. And uh, what I can do is do some settings, which it's quite extensive. I'll just show you some of the highlights, making it larger, for instance. You can also change the color from the white to something different. I'll pick yellow so it stands out more. You can also color the uh, text color for Sundays, this column right here. I'll pick green. So it's nice and bright. I can also choose this time and date elements over here. Do I want a 24 hour clock? Well, maybe you have a AM and PM clock down here and you want this to be 24 hour clock. As soon as that hits one o'clock, it becomes 1300. Or you can not show the time at all. Full year, I probably would want that. This kind of looks a little goofy. But that's just me. So I'm going to currently leave it in this size and then I'm going to close all that. Then I'm going to try to click and move it and it doesn't move. And I believe that was the affliction that this uh, subscriber was describing. Well, that is because there's a setting that got inadvertently turned on and it is not on by default. Right click, desklets, general settings, Lock desklets in current position is normally off by default. So again, I suspect that probably got activated when someone was just trying to look through these settings and turn that on. You need to turn that off to move that. Now I can move it. All right, I'm going to fix this where it's transparent and a little bigger. So right click configure. I don't have to open up desklets because this is a desklet 
and you can right click on the desklet itself to get the configuration boxes. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then I'm going to change the transparency from 50% to full. And I think I'm just going to leave the colors. All right, but this is too close to the edge, so I need to move it a little bit. So it'll move now, right? Well, what if you uh, just change that and you already locked these? So let me give you that example. Now the desklet is locked and I cannot move it now. So if I change my screen resolution for whatever reason, this also is not going to be very kind. It could be way in the center and you can't move it afterwards until you turn the lock off. Desk, add desk, let's general, turn that off. Now you can move this to whatever position you want. Okay. You want it part of the, see the mountains through part of this? That's all up to you. And now I'm going to relock it because that's the way I wanted it. Add desk lets, general settings, lock current. Desk lets, so if you have more than one, turn that off, move them around, then relock both of them. I'm just using a single. Now, since a lot of these toys require a little bit more horsepower, the reason the XFCE desktops and the Mate desktops, for instance, well, I would imagine Mate can probably, if someone were to develop desklets for it, but it's generally only found on the Cinnamon desktop. The Cinnamon desktop does require a little bit more horsepower as far as uh, your computer and RAM than an XFCE desktop does. And Linux Mint makes also an XFCE desktop. Someone asked me the other day, I got a 13 year old laptop and uh, well, Cinnamon is running a little sluggish on it. Well, maybe they don't have enough resources. Maybe they should think about an XFCE desktop for that really old computer. Again, I'm just talking about things. Now, since I have a fairly decent graphics card, I can use transparent panels. So um, in other words, they work better. So where do you find transparent panels? Well, first I want to talk about the theme that I'm using because this has a bearing on things. So all of these can be found by just clicking on things because I didn't install any of these. Linux Mint has those all for you. Now, why am I talking about this? Because the panel itself will give me the illusion of transparent panels. I'm going to remove this on purpose because it's not here, uh, not installed on default. Just like desklets only have three, extensions have none. Now I turned it off for a reason because I want you to see that it's not installed, but there's still a semi-transparency to this. I can see part of this island on this water right through here. If you look really closely, again, filming in 1080. It's not solid black, not like this color, based on the theme that I'm using. So you may get transparency effects with your themes. This on the other hand is an extension. You get extensions, it, they operate the same way as desklets, but again, they have different things that it does. They're th called themes and it's currently refreshing the cache. You may not like any of them. I'm just using this one by that developer there. I think there's another transparent panel somewhere in there. And um, I think that one I didn't really care for, but anyways. This one here is made by that developer. I'm going to install it. It goes into manage and it's still off. I activate it by hitting the plus key. Once I hit the plus key, the gear will be available for me to configure. All right, so currently you just notice that that just disappeared. And I get a posted note, transparent panels enabled. I'm going to get rid of that posted message. So the gear symbol will allow me to do some configuration. I normally just leave these things alone with the exception of that one. All right, I'm just using a bottom panel and I'm not too sure how it's going to activate if you move the panels around. I would imagine if I move the panel from the top to bottom, I don't think there's an issue. We can try that out. So I have with shadow, fully or semi. My favorite is semi. It adds a shadow to things. 
the fully will make your icons look like they're floating. All right, so I'm gonna close all that and let me move the panel upstairs and see what kind of effects. And now it looks like a little bit, uh, well, because of the skyline, we get some blending. And that's one of the things I was gonna discuss with you. See, the bottom of the panel is blue. So if I were to move this downstairs, this looks better in that mode. So let me change some wallpapers for you, backgrounds. Okay, here's one. The body of water, these almost start to bleed out. And again, they also affect your themes that you picked. So a lot of times we are looking for different combinations of things. So that one's very dark, not a problem, right? So let me go back and we're going to talk about the extensions. Now, if I turn this off, you now you can see the panel is kind of grayish. Based on the wallpaper that I use or backgrounds, things give, give you a different perspective. You can now see part of the water through it. All right, but that's the theme. That's not this. It's not on, even though you can see that. Now I'm gonna turn it on and then give you the three. That's fully, this is with shadow, and this is semi. Again, your graphic card has to support all this. That's why I was making mention of that old laptop that the person was having, well, sluggish things. They may not even get to have transparent panels working correctly for them either. All right, but in my case, I'm, things are working on my computer. Don't have to use this at all. I'm not advocating that you do. Transparent panels by this developer. And again, I think there's two of those in there. So the other thing I'm gonna talk about toward, um, I'm almost done here, but if you use the suspend feature um, on some computers, it doesn't work right. It doesn't go to suspend, or if it does go to suspend when you come out of suspend mode, you may find a panel that's black, no icons, possibly even the menu. Then I'll show you a couple of tips before you hit that power button. You can try Alt and F2 and small r. Small r is reset and what happens when you hit enter, your mouse pointer will jump to the center of the screen and the word restarting cinnamon will appear. That's one way. The traditional way would be control, hold it down, alt, hold it down, and escape key. Gives it a different way to res reset cinema. If you do have a panel bar, then you can right click, troubleshoot, and restart cinema, and then click that. That's the same effect as the alt and F2 are. However, if you don't have a panel, you can't do that that way. I don't know if you realize this, but the um, general tab, memory limit, auto restart cinnamon. Sometimes when you're doing updates and it's an applet update, you'll see restarting cinnamon and it's very quiet. You may see a flash. But more importantly, I want you to let you see that the system also has this on by default. Now, if you got uh, a Buku RAM, let's say you got 128 megabytes of RAM, then you may consider turning that off, or maybe even less. I'm just showing you that that's on by default. Restarting cinnamon is not a big deal. It doesn't reset your computer. It resets the interface in here, the cinnamon interface. I'm gonna do this one more time, Alt F2 small r. I'm not gonna edit this video. You didn't hear my voice jump at all but it restarted cinnamon. Another one is if you're missing those bubbles above your icons, restart cinnamon. Blank panel bars, from whatever reason you came out of suspend mode, restart cinnamon. On that note, thank you for watching.